Uh, you are on, we have heard the first uh, session of uh, uh, Hamid Nouri's testimony. Uh, what's your idea about it? Was it, can, as a lawyer, can you call it a testimony or was it more a political uh, uh, manifest? It, it was definitely a, a political manifest. He, he, he put the focus on other things. That's why, why we are here. We are talking about the massacre in 1988 and he didn't almost say anything about that. He was just talking about other things, about his family and, and things that has nothing to do with, with his trial. So I, I think when the prosecutor will start today after the first break, he has to answer the more, more concrete question about uh, why the witnesses and they will point him out, etc. Et so I'm waiting for that. Yeah. When, then we can start a real trial and interrogation with Hamid Nouri. And uh, he also mentioned 23rd uh, witnesses uh, who are out of the case. Who are these witnesses? It's always like this in these kind of big cases. The prosecutor must select and say if there are 150 persons they have been interrogated, they say maybe 50 had something very important to say. And it's up to uh, Haminur and his lawyers if they want to take, say, a witness uh, to another witness to the court. They have had uh, two years to do that, but they didn't want to do that. And then he cannot say just like he did. You have. Uh, 29 more witnesses. Okay, take them here to the court then. You, if you, it's, your, it's up to you and your lawyers. They, I will say that prosecutors are not hiding anything. It's, everything is open. They can read everything. It's just to say we want that witness to come to the court. No, no problem. And he also mentioned that we don't have any uh, prison called uh, Gohar Dasht in Iran and he called it Rajai Shah. Yeah. So what's your idea about this? We are talking about the same prison. And, and uh, all the natives and witnesses call the prison Bohadash. And that might be like that, that has another name also. But it doesn't matter what you call it, if you call the prison something else. But we are talking about the same prison, and that is the most important thing. And this is my last question. Uh, he mentioned Iraj Mestaki as Iraj. It's a bit uh, unusual in Iran when you call someone with his first name in this situation, because here in Sweden it's so usual. Yes. So what's your idea? I was very surprised when I heard that, because he has said it, he, he has cut the question in, during the interrogation about most of the plaintiffs, and especially about Iraj Mestaki, and he said, I don't know who he is. I don't know it. I don't know him. And now, in the, in the courtroom, he said that he called him Iraj, and, I, and he said, I know him. So it's a little bit confusing, but let's see what happens later on. Thank you so much. You're on your mission.